when you were serving Cambodia and Somalia, did you look upon your work as that of a peacekeeper or a soldier? Soldier, yeah. But a little bit less so with Cambodia, which was the first mission. I really, I sort of had the impression, you know, let's help these people, you know. The weapons were taken off us, you know, our weapons. We went, went over without weapons at the start, then they gave us weapons and they took the weapons off us. They just couldn't make a decision. And that used to make me really angry that someone else makes a decision on my ability to defend myself. Because the discipline's in the squeeze of the trigger, not on whether or not the bad guys are going to attack us. And, and that's something I never got used to. That I thought it was, a, it was a mistake that could have turned very nasty. You know, the weapons got taken off us. Even in Phnom Penh, in our compound, they had to be locked up in an armory. I just thought it was ridiculous. It was a big gamble one person was making. <clears throat> Wasn't happy with it. But I guess you got to say the proof in the pudding. They never attacked us, and that was it. But had they, we would all be dead. You know, so. But in Somalia, it was uh, had a different story. As in, in Cambodia, it was like I was really there to help the people. I really wanted to help a lot. In Somalia, no, it was just... I, I thought I was there to enforce other people not killing each other and really didn't have, uh, didn't give them too much thought about their family lives and that sort of thing. And, I mean, I, my impression of people in Mogadishu was different to Baidu. And Baidu, I really liked the people, similar to Cambodia, but in Somalia, in Mogadishu, I thought they were there to kill me and that was just all there is to it. And they had that look and they were armed up and, yeah, I mean, they had the capacity. And, and that, I guess that's what happens in every country that's in turmoil. Like, there's all these people um, want to fight over the crumbs in the capital cities and uh, people out in the country just want to let it go and people want peace.